hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see how we can convert modbus serial data to mqtt data okay this is my modbus serial device which is providing temperature and humidity data serially okay and this is my atc converter so what i have done is i have connected my modbus serial device to this atc converter you can see the serial cable connection here okay so this serial device will provide the data to this atc converter and the second end of this atc converter is the usb port so i have connected the second end to my laptop okay and it is connected to com 3 of my laptop as you can see in the computer management so it is connected to com 3 so if i remove the second end of this atc converter then you will not see any port available here okay serial port if i connect it again then you can see here com3 so this device sht20 is providing serial data to my laptop over this atc converter so what i want to do is i want to convert modbus serial data into mqtt data okay mosquito is installed in my system if you want to see then we can go to task manager we can go to services and we can search for mosquito so mosquito broker is up and running on my system so after reading this data in the node read we will publish those data to my mosquito broker and in this mqtt explorer software we will read those data so let's see how we can do that so right now this device is connected to com3 of my laptop okay so we will open our node read here you can see the node read connection is not up and running because my node read is stop but before starting with the node read let's verify the data in more scan software so we already know that this device is providing data on the input register and this device is providing only two data temperature and humidity and the starting address is two and we will go to connection we will press on connect and we know that this is connected to my system over com3 port so i am going to select com3 here i'll press ok and you can see 314 and 436 so 31.3 or 31.4 is my temperature and 43.5 is my percentage relative humidity so i want to read this data in noted and then i want to publish those data into mqtt broker and with the help of any mqtt client we can read those data so let's start our noted flow here okay So as you can see on my flow, I have already created flow for you to convert your Modbus serial data into MQTT data. So this is the inject node. This will inject to this Modbus getter node and this Modbus getter node, you can see the configuration of the Modbus getter node that we have specified unit ID one because my device has a unit ID one. And we guys already know that we are reading data on input registers. So that is why we have selected function code four here and the address is one and the quantity is two because we want to read two data temperature and humidity and you can select the server okay if you don't have any server available then you can click on this pencil box and you can create one server so server in the sense which device will provide you the data you have to specify the configuration of those devices okay this is the reading parameter of our tag that we are going to read our tag or our data from input register and the starting address is one and the quantity is two but from which device so you have to specify those device detail in the server so if you click on this pencil icon then you can see i have specified my device as sht20 this is the serial expert device okay so if you select serial device then some of these option will not be available so i have selected serial expert it is connected to my system on com3 port so that is why i have selected com3 and instead of rtu i have selected rtu buffer if you select rtu then you will get crc error you will get some data reading error okay so to overcome those errors i suggest you to select rtu buffer here and the board rate is 9600 data bits 8 stop bit 1 and parity none this conf configuration is for this sht20 device okay now you can click on update here you can click on done after reading the data from my modbus serial device i am doing some arrangements of my data 
okay i am converting my data you if you can see here this data is in the row value okay but i don't want the row value i want the actual value of my temperature and the actual value of my humidity so i am transforming those data with this to node and then i am publishing those data using my mqtt out node so if i select my mqtt out node then you can see i am not specifying any topic here because those topic will come from this to change node okay in the server you have to select your mqtt broker address okay or you have to specify parameter of your mqtt broker so if you click on this pencil icon then you can see my mosquito broker is up and running on my system so i have specified the name mosquito and the server is in my system okay mosquito is running in my system so that is why i have specified the ip address 127.0.0.1 the local host ip address port number is 1883 protocol mqtt version 3.1.1 and the keep alive time is 60 second okay and client id i have left it blank to auto generate it so this is the basic configuration of my mosquito broker okay now topic i am providing from outside so that is why i have left this field blank okay now the quality of service is zero and this is my mqtt out node okay now this two function node will convert payload data into the actual data okay so you can see here that my payload has a value which i have to divide it by 10 to get the actual value okay so 313 means 31.3 is my temperature so that is why i am dividing the payload by 10 here and same for humidity and after that on this change node you can see i am setting message dot value as a message dot payload okay and i am setting message dot topic as a temperature okay so that that is why i don't have to provide any topic here because i am setting my topic here and message dot value is equal to my message dot payload so this function node will provide the payload to this and here i am converting my payload to message dot value okay and the same for humidity so if i deploy this here okay and if i open mqtt explorer here okay so let me maximize this one if i inject it here okay so it will read the data from my shd20 and it will process my data and then it will publish to mqtt so if i click one time here then you will see temperature and humidity value okay but every time i don't want to click here so that is why what we can do with the inject node is we can select interval okay every five second i want to read the value so every five second the modbus getter node will read the value from my modbus serial device then it will process my data and then it will publish to my mqtt broker so if i deploy it here and then you can see the value will change every five seconds you will see the graph here okay so you will see the change in the graph every five seconds so here you can see the timing okay 26 so the next is 31 31 after five seconds 36 okay so every five seconds you will see some value change in the mqtt explorer this is the mqtt client software which you can use for testing purpose okay so i am using it for testing purpose to test my mqtt broker messages okay so my node read is sending out the messages to my mqtt broker and i have subscribed to this topic and i want to check the values in the mqtt explorer so this is how you can convert your modbus serial data into mqtt data okay so you can see here my device is providing data to my laptop and with the help of node read i am reading those data and i am publishing those data to mqtt broker so whenever this device atc converter reads the data the led will be blinked okay so it means that it is reading the data okay after reading the data it will convert or it will process according to our logic and then it will publish the data to mqtt 
topics. So this is how you can convert your Modbus serial data into MQTT data using Node-RED. Okay, so if you have any question or any concern regarding Modbus serial to MQTT conversion in the Node-RED, then you can ping me on WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram, anywhere. I will try to resolve your doubt as soon as possible. Okay, so I hope you guys know it that how to convert your Modbus serial data into MQTT data and after converting MQTT data, after converting your serial data to MQTT data, you can use it anywhere. Okay, you can use it in Amazon Web Services Cloud, you can use it in Ignition SCADA, you can use it in Cap Server, or you can also create your own Android application to visualize those data, visualize the graph to create the reports. Okay, so I hope this is clear to you. And if you still have any question or any concern, then you can ping me on WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram as you know this. So we will meet you in the next video. Till then, take care, goodbye and thank you.